this last year, the last 18 months, really, I spent a lot of time in Rwanda. Three times I've been back and forth to Rwanda. You cannot go to Rwanda without it leaving fingerprints on your soul. 1994, one of the most horrific genocides in the history of humanity occurred. The Hutus, who are 84% of the population, determined that the country would never be stable unless they annihilated every Tutsi. They, the animosity was fueled by the uh, colonial governments. Everybody in Rwanda had to get an identity card, and uh, these identity cards were given out based on ethnicity. Hutus got one that said Hutu. Tutsis got one that said Tutsi. Twa's got one that said Twa. Newspapers came out wanting to destroy all Tutsis. The uh, president of the country, pa President Habiyama, was flying back into Kigali. He was a Hutu. His plane was shot out of the sky. The Tutsis were blamed for that. And the newspapers came out, and the Tutsis were called cockroaches. And they said, kill every cockroach. Young people were taken in large mass meetings like this, uh, thousands of them. And they, everyone was given a machete. And uh, there were thousands and thousands of young people, tens of thousands. And they were given machetes. And they were told, you go through and you kill every Tutsi, whoever they are. If a, if, a, if a Hutu was married to a Tutsi, he was responsible for killing his, his Tutsi wife, and many of them did. Um, if you had a Tutsi brother and, uh, or a neighbor, you were responsible for killing him. Every person was responsible for killing. If a Hutu harbored a Tutsi, they were subject to death as well. One million people were killed in 90 days. The killing became so bad that bodies were laying over the streets. You couldn't drive a car because you drive over dead bodies. Bodies were stacked up in the streets, and they were stacked so high that the dogs came and ate them. Bodies were clogging rivers. When the genocide started in 1994, just 10 years ago, there were 280,000 Seventh-day Adventists in Rwanda. 100,000 Adventists were murdered in 90 days. That's a story you may not have heard. 100,000 Adventists were murdered, slaughtered, butchered by machetes, 90 days. Uh, I talked to the union president, Pastor Ramon Rutilingi, and I said, Pastor Ramon, did you lose anybody in the genocide? He said, I lost my wife, my three children, my seven grandchildren. He said, I was out preaching, and they came. At Muganero Hospital, our hospital there, Adventists from all around gathered on the hospital grounds and the, uh, and the church grounds. The killing started on a Sabbath morning at 8.30. By 10.30 at night, 10,500 Seventh-day Adventists were murdered on those grounds. A hundred Adventist pastors were murdered, not because they're Adventists, but because many of them were Tutsis. As I talked to the conference president, I said to him, was anybody killed in your family? He said, yes, my uh, wife and my seven children. I talked to my driver. I said, anybody killed in your family? He said, oh, pastor, uh, I lost 70 of my relatives. I lost everybody in my family. I lost my, my father, my mother. I lost uh, my brothers, my sisters. I lost my aunts and my uncles. I lost all 70. I'm the only one left. How do you preach to a nation like that? How do you preach when you get up on Sabbath morning and you speak to or in a stadium to 20,000 people and you've got Adventist Tutus and Adventist Tutsis and, you, and you, know, you know the challenges that those people face? 